Hey everyone. So if you've ever dreamed of building things at a massive scale, you are definitely in the right place. Today, we're going to break down the entire playbook for landing a software development engineer one role at Amazon, specifically in India. Let's dive right in. It's a big question, isn't it? Because it's about way more than just a job. It's about building the technology that millions, maybe billions of people use every single day. So if you're ready, let's map out the exact path to get you there. All right, first things first, the SDE1 opportunity itself. Let's get crystal clear on who this is for and what you'll need to bring to the table. So who is actually eligible? Well, this particular role is for 2024 and 2025 graduates. You'll need a B-Tech, B-E, or M-Tech in computer science or field that's pretty closely related. If that sounds like you, perfect. Let's keep going. And what are the core skills Amazon is really looking for? You know, it boils down to three main pillars. Your coding fundamentals have to be strong. You need a solid grasp of data structures and algorithms. And of course, excellent problem-solving skills. These are the absolute non-negotiables. Okay, now for your first major challenge, the online assessment, or as you'll hear everyone call it, the OA. This is the very first gate you have to get through. And the OA isn't just one single thing. It's actually split into three different parts. You've got the coding challenge, which is the main event. Then there's a cultural assessment to see how you vibe with Amazon's leadership principles. And finally, a quick feedback survey. For that coding test, you are on the clock. You get exactly 90 minutes to prove your skills, which brings us to what you'll actually be doing in that time. So what do you have to do in those 90 minutes? You're going to be faced with two coding problems. One is considered moderate difficulty and the other one is hard. We're talking problems that can involve graph traversals or dynamic programming. Speed, accuracy, and efficiency are just absolutely crucial here. Now for some key details you need to know. You have a one-week window to take the test, but once you hit start, that 90-minute timer does not stop. Also, Amazon has some pretty strict anti-cheating measures. Photo ID is required to start, and copy-paste is disabled in the editor. You truly have to know your stuff cold. So, you've passed the OA. Fantastic. Seriously, that's a big deal. Next up is the main event, the virtual interview loop. The structure for these roles in India is typically a three-person loop. Each interview is about 60 minutes long and has a very distinct focus, blending both your technical skills with Amazon's leadership principles. Let's break down who you're going to meet. Your first interview is all about your foundation. They're looking at the learn and be curious principle while digging deep into your core data structures, your algorithms, and your general problem-solving approach. They don't just want the right answer. They want to see how you think. Then, interviewer number two shifts the focus a little bit. They're looking for ownership in your ability to deliver results. Now, on the technical side, that means writing code that isn't just correct, but is also logical and easy for a whole team to maintain. And finally, the tech bar razor. Okay, this is super important. This person is an experienced Amazonian from a completely different team. They're brought in specifically to keep the hiring bar high across the entire company. They have the final say and will be testing you on key principles like dive deep and earns trust. This brings us to a really crucial part of this whole thing, the Amazon culture. To succeed here, you need to speak their language, and that language is built on a very specific framework. And that framework is the STAR method. For every single behavioral question, you have to frame your answer this way. Describe the situation, the specific task you had, the actions you took, and the quantifiable result. For instance, our team's build server was taking over 20 minutes to deploy, which was slowing everyone down. That's the situation. I was tasked with cutting that time by 30% task. So I analyzed the scripts, cached our dependencies, and parallelized the jobs. Action. As a result, deployment time dropped to under eight minutes, which was a 60% improvement. Result. This structure is non-negotiable. You have to use it. So which principles should you be prepping stories for? Well, for the India SDE1 interview loop, the sources really highlight these five. You need to prepare multiple star examples for each one, ready to go, showing how you've used these principles in your past projects. And here's a critical update you really can't miss. Amazon now assesses for Gen AI fluency. What does that mean? Well, they want to see that you know how to use tools like code assistance to be more productive and that you can talk about the real world applications and limitations of AI and software development. This is a vital new piece of the puzzle. Okay, I know that was a lot of information. So let's try to distill all of that down into a clear, actionable prep guide for you. 
On the technical side, your path is pretty clear, though it is demanding. Master your data structures and algorithms. Practice, practice, practice on platforms like LeetCode. But remember, don't just get the right answer. Focus on writing code that's clean, logical, and maintainable. And of course, get comfortable with those Gen AI tools. For your leadership prep, the homework is just as important. You need to craft those detailed star stories for the key principles we mentioned. It's also a really good idea to review all 16 of Amazon's principles just to get the full picture of the culture. And be ready to talk about your past projects, not just what you did, but why you did it and what the impact was. So how does this all come together in the end? Let's look at the complete journey, right from that first email all the way to a potential offer. This timeline gives you a great sense of the pace. From the moment you get that online assessment link, you could be looking at a final decision in about five weeks. It's really a sprint, not a marathon, which means being prepared ahead of time is absolutely everything. And that brings us to the final question. After all the prep, the algorithms, and the star stories, it all comes down to this. What story will your code tell? Because that's what Amazon really wants to know. Good luck.